Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I'm going to take a look at an Aegeus base that was discovered some time ago, but I thought I'd go over there and take a little bit of a revisit. Let's take a look. I'm in the Pleiades sector. GW-W space C1-15. All will be in the comments. On planet 12A. And there's been a discovery. An Aegis base has been found and has been attacked by the Thargoids. Now this will contain logs and will contain spoilers. I am going to drive around this base and see what I can pick up. Now, what I did find as well were there are ships patrolling, but if you don't antagonize these ships, they're not going to antagonize you. And the added bonus of all this is you can scan them and get some additional data. So that's worthwhile. So don't open up on them too quickly. I thought, shall I, shan't I? I didn't know. And if you haven't done so, mash that subscribe button and mash that like button if you like what you're seeing. If not, then don't. Hey, hey leave a comment as well. Um, we're all friends here. So this is Dominic's Corner, named after Dominic Corner, one of the developers. Um, a base, you can see, has lots of corrosive material around, lots of Thargoid corrosive material. Even from this vantage point, you can see there's been quite a, an attack. Loads of rents and tears on the buildings, and that lovely sort of mother-of-pearl corrosive material spat out everywhere, quite akin to the old Inra bases of last year. So I'm kind of hoping that Aegis is going to get its own Inra set of storylines and bases and logs that are going to tell a bit more of an in-depth story. Now, there are four logs found at this base, plus there's a data pod, so you can scan that, and also loads of materials, scrap, chemical manipulators, focus crystals, the name but a few. So, just to be warned, make sure you've got some material space. All this being said, you don't see Aegis written on any of these inflatable bio tents, do you? Oh no, you don't. The only reference I've found to them is that the letters AG on some of the storage tanks. So it's quite interesting to, to think about that, how it's not being advertised, yet even though the Thargoids had found them. But there you go, see? You know, how did they find them? Why attack this base? What was going on? Well, we're going to find out all this in the logs, which we're going to play for in a minute. So, be warned, here come some spoilers with the logs. If you don't want to hear the logs, then by all means, turn off now and thank you very much for your viewership. If you want to hear the logs and the rest of the video, stay tuned. So no Thargoids in the area, just those ships. So just to be warned, don't go aggravating them. Enjoy it. Listen to the logs. Here comes the spoiler alerts. Let's talk after the logs and see what we think. Production is currently at 91%. The specifications for these new weapons are unique, so it's only natural we'd have teething problems when calibrating our machinery. Normally, head office would be sticking their oar in, but they've been conspicuous in their silence. Could be something to do with the fact that Aegis has given us the blueprints to the most sophisticated weaponry in the galaxy. The corporation's set to make a fortune when these prototypes go to mass production. And of course, we're also proud to be safeguarding the galaxy from the Thargoid threat. And it helps that Aegis is paying us a fortune for the privilege. Today we had the royal visit, spot check from the man at Aegis. He walked in, black suited and slick haired, hulking bodyguards like it was the president of the federation or something. I'm not gonna lie, I was bloody intimidated, especially since I was the one giving him the guided tour. He introduced himself as Mr. Black. I'm fairly sure that wasn't his real name, but I wasn't gonna question it. 
He walked around the plant for about an hour and he didn't say a word. I was expecting the worst, but he just thanked me for the tour. Told me to keep up the good work and left. Keep up the good work. I'm taking that as a win. message came in on an encrypted channel. It was Mr. Black himself. I've recognised that voice anyway. He said the facility would be coming under attack imminently and we had to evacuate at once. It was sparse on details, but it was pretty convincing. I've told the floor supervisors to initiate evacuation protocols, but I can't leave yet. There's simply too much confidential material here. It has to be destroyed. I tried to contact head office for further instruction, but I couldn't get through. I'm doing the right thing. The attack came. It wasn't radio. It was a Thargoid ship. It popped up on the scanners and set about destroying the facility. When it hit the main plan, I thought it was the end, but then federal ships arrived. I don't know where they came from. Maybe he just sent them. Oh, thank God I managed to evacuate everyone in time. Death toll could have been catastrophic. As it stands, we lost a few billion credits in machinery, but I'll let the bean counters worry about that. I'm just glad no one was hurt. So there you go, it's all about weapons development, and somehow the Thargoids found them. There was an inspection, was there a tip-off? If the Thargoids got somebody working with them on the inside, who could it be? Could it be this man in black? Unlikely. Could it be this Thargoid worshipping cult? That seems to be all over Galnet recently, that I haven't really paid that much attention to. I've been following the League of Reparation. Who knows? But make sure you go and pick up all the materials, scan all the data, and if you need those particular materials again, then you know what to do. You just gotta log out and log back in, it'll respawn, and the materials will respawn as well. So I've been Ricardo, and this has been the Aegis installation, Dominic's Corner, and the logs from the man from Aegis. Thanks for watching. Check back for more videos in the series. Hopefully we'll heal more from this clandestine organization like we did from Inra. Fly safe.